everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Jody, Purple on 3, and this is my 2018 Can Am Spider F3 Limited. Well, it's actually Tommy G's Can Am Spider F3 Limited because I did gift it to him. But today I want to do a 75,000 mile review. I have a link right here for my 50,000 mile review video that I did. The current mileage sits around 77,500 miles. I got this spider in the fall of 2019 and didn't actually start riding it until 2020. My 50,000 mile review video covered the first three years of ownership. So in this video, we're going to talk about 23 and 24 thus far because it's only July. In 2023, I rode approximately 18,000 miles. This year, Tommy G has ridden about 6,000 miles thus far. 2022 was a huge riding year for us. We picked up 42 states and then in June of 23, we did another six, that would be the New England states, and that brought us up to 48 states. And then in 2023, we did our huge trip to Alaska, state number 49. So a lot of the maintenance costs for 23 were related to that trip. The first maintenance for 2023 would be April, where I got new front and rear tires. I also needed the belt idler kit replaced because it had worn out. So that maintenance was around uh, $900. I don't know how many of you have been to Alaska, but resources are limited there. You can't count on getting maintenance done. So prior to us leaving, we had this spider service along with the Harley Davidson to make sure that they were roadworthy and ready for the rough riding conditions. Even though the battery was fine after five years, decided that should probably be replaced. I also had spark plugs replaced, fuel filter replaced, HCM filter replaced, antifreeze, hose clamps, there a whole list of things just to make sure that it was ready to go. I also, even though the rear tire was only half worn, decided to go ahead and put on a brand new rear tire for the trip to Alaska. Also had the oil changed at the dealership since Ryan at Motorsports of Hanover already had everything torn apart, decided it just made sense for him to go ahead and do that oil change. The pre-Alaska maintenance expenses were $1,397, around $1,400. Now I did ship an oil kit to Alaska because I honestly didn't know if I would be able to get it changed anywhere in Alaska. So shipped it to our friend's house at the North Pole and ended up doing uh, an oil change right around 6,500 mile mark. BRP indicates that oil changes should occur for this model, according to my manual, every 9,300 miles. I have changed it every 6,500 miles at the recommendation of Motorsports of Hanover. We do most of the oil changes because we are a substantial distance from Hanover Motorsports. Total maintenance costs for the year 2023 were $2,379. That's a lot, but again, this was a huge trip and we didn't wanna have any mechanical issues. Repair costs for 2023 were $215 as the DES module needed replaced. Because of the rough conditions in Alaska and the Yukon, we wanted to make sure that everything was good with the spider. The worst thing was the air filter. Ryan told us it was the most filthy air filter he had ever seen. So for 2024, also needed new tires and this time we put on the Kenda K9 tires to give them a shot. Total maintenance costs for 2024 thus far are $776. No repair costs for 2024. Total maintenance costs for five years of ownership are $5,500. 
and total repair costs for five years of ownership are $584. Again, there are 77,500 miles on the Spider right now. Would your cost be the same? It really just depends on how many miles you're putting on your Spider. If you figure it out per year, it comes out to around $1,125 per year for maintenance. And that's with us doing most of the oil changes. Now, a lot of folks think that spider maintenance is expensive. Well, I guess it's how you look at it. Just for fun, I had Tommy G add up his maintenance costs for his Harley, which also happens to be a 2018 and with about the same uh, amount of miles on it. He also had an extended warranty. My warranty ran out in the spring of 2020. It's not completely apples to apples because he did have his oil changes done at the dealerships while his bike was under warranty. But I just wanna tell you that he has spent several thousand more dollars on maintenance and repairs on the Harley than I've spent on the Canem Spider. So to look at this spider, would you think, because I don't think you can tell by looking at it, that it has this many miles on it? I mean, we have maintained it and kept it in very, very good condition, doing all the oil changes at regular intervals and, you know, any repairs. If you didn't know our history that we've ridden uh, all the states, you wouldn't realize that it has that many miles on it, I don't think. 49 states on this 2018 Can-Am Spider F3 Limited. Probably could have done state number 50 with it, but we didn't want to pay to ship our bikes to Hawaii. If you want to check out the video link, you'll see that we did actually get to ride a Harley and a Can-Am in Hawaii though. So we did complete our 50 states. So that's my 75,000 mile review of the 2018 Can-Am Spider F3 Limited. But wait, there's more. You didn't really think this would be a 75,000 mile review video, did you? If you know us, you know we ride whenever we can, and that Tommy G managed to put a few extra miles on Spider Girl. Mileage as of the posting of this video is 79,008 miles. That's a lot of miles per gallon. Just a quick overview of maintenance and repair costs that we have spent on our Spider. And again, if you are riding less miles, then your maintenance costs are most likely going to be less than what we have spent. Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you have any questions about maintenance costs or repair costs, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. I appreciate each and every one of you and appreciate you stopping by the channel. I'm Jody, Purple on 3. Sorry, Tommy G's still out on the South 40. Remember to begin each and every day with gratitude. Bye for now.